Oftentimes, you can feel content with your life. However, it rarely happens when it feels like the universe is working in your favor. When the first person who had this type of feeling of such certainty on the plot line precisely designed by an outer authority, they must have decided to call it a destiny. Because it must have been hard not to believe things were predestined for them when they had seen everything that they had wished for happen so graciously. I've always wanted to see some paintings of Van Gogh in person. I knew I would one day. And it finally happened. It happened sooner than I thought. Then, although it was my choices and my own effort that made it possible for the most part, I still wanted to act like it happened as a destiny. Okay, I took the wrong metro. I was supposed to go uh, west to, I don't even know how to pronounce the name of the station, but it starts with a T. T-U-I-L-L-I-E-T. -L -L -E Twilet, or I don't know. I was supposed to go west, but I took the wrong one. Same number, number one metro, but the other way. And then I figured, because um, I'm supposed to take the same uh, i'm i'm supposed to go on wednesday to uh leon station and i didn't know that i was supposed to take this one but now i do because i just passed a station named cafe leon so <laughs> uh it's a coincidence it's a beautiful coincidence that i got to know <sighs> i'm just trying to stay positive because i'm kind of late for musée de musée d'orsay I have no idea how to pronounce it, but... It was after I passed through it that I learned I was walking in the oldest formal garden in Paris. Tuleki Garden is placed on the west side of the Louvre Museum and south of the Place de la Concorde. The Tuleki Garden was one of the direct witnesses of the history of France. During the uprising of 1789, Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette took refuge in the palace after the revolutionaries had taken them back to the Palace of Versailles. The Paris people preferred individual chairs over benches. They also weren't happy to pay for the chairs, and in 1843, the Paris government decided to rent 1,500 chairs to the public. Before the green chairs were put for free by the city, people had passed by the center of the garden so quickly without having a look at the statues or, or think of having a leisure time at the garden. Anyone can sit and enjoy the beautiful garden as long as they have time. On the first week of July, the sun was not shining. It was striking. It was almost attacking people. <laughs> there were no shades beside by the stone statues put in a circle in the sandy area of the garden. Yet, people were still reading and relaxing on the green chairs in the shades. I assumed they had to move every half an hour since the sun changes its location, but they seemed like they were having a great time. I also wanted to take a moment to sort my thoughts of the day on one of the green chairs if I had time. But I didn't have any time. And so I just wanted to take some photos. I grabbed two gentlemen from Boston in the US. They took pictures of me in the garden with some flowers in the background. And we had a small conversation. And I explained how I came from Korea, studied art in Michigan, and I was on a trip to Europe for the art museums in Paris. It was fun. I think um, I just started recording a video because um, I wanted to record this excitement that I have right now. That's the Orsay Museum. And I just passed the garden of uh, Tourlet. <laughs> Tourlet. And uh, there were like statues and flowers and everywhere and, and sunlight and it was beautiful. But then uh, today's goal is to spend hours in the museum. So I'm kind of being in a hurry. Uh, voluntarily being in a hurry and I'm gonna go across that bridge walk that way take the entrance and it's supposed to be free today 
and let's see if it's actually free. I got cash, and I have my internet to buy the online ticket if I am, if I need to. But still, so excited. Things are waiting for me, and um, I think because um, 30 minutes ago, I was thinking, what makes my uh, trip so special? What what makes it meaningful? Because uh, people people when they have time and money and goals they can always come and enjoy this enjoy Paris and how what how is my travel so special how does it have to be how can it be special to other people as well if if I were to write a book and I haven't find the answer I haven't found the answer yet and I don't think there's an answer but well, I like I like Van Gogh and I came here and that's special to me and that's good enough. There there there, there has not to be a reason to make something special because everything is special. <laughs> God, I'm so happy. I'm glad I'm alive. If that counts as a reason for my story to be special then Yes, I feel alive and so happy. I might sound really cheesy, but yay. The waiting line took an hour and a half. I regretted not waking up earlier to come before noon, but once I was in, there were only excitement in my heart. I, once I got the map, I went straight to the impressionist floor. So excited! <laughs>